Nothing. More tea? Uh, no thanks. What's that doing there? Nothing much. Put it on the floor. I was only getting him used to me. Well, rather you did it somewhere else. Where on earth did you get it? Sam got him for me. His name's Beelzebub. Beelzebub? Mm, he's my familiar. Your what? My familiar. You know, witches have them. Burst of the blue fly, home of the bee. Buzz and hum the cry, and so do we. It's a history of witchcraft. Witches had familiars. They were sort of pets. That's the latest craze, is it? What do you mean? Magic. It was, uh, submarines last week. Oh, it's duly interesting. The nice of it worked. I'll get you to put a spell on Pearson. Who's he? The bank manager. I've just had a very nasty letter from him about my overdraft. Come in, Sam. I'm sorry to trouble you, Mr. Bennett. Could you come? I written a couple of those efforts. I've got some of mastitis. All right. I'll have a look. A bit of bad luck, innit? Especially after all that trouble we had with them rats. Yes, it's getting like the plagues of Egypt. You'd think there was a curse on the place. A curse? We have a budding wizard in the family. For this week, anyway. Come on, Sam. Caves, cults, curses. The power of the evil eye. Gosh. Secret names were used to call up demons to destroy enemies. What do you think, Bielsey? I bet Cat Weasel knows all about curses. Hob, hole, hob, hob, hole, hob. Take it off, take it off. Old one, cold one, cure my bone ache. Nay. Nay. And I forgot the earwigs. Nothing works. You know anything about curses? Aye, boy. I had them all in my book. Curses for everything. Curses that would chill thy blood. What book? My magic book. Nine hundred years ago. Oh, don't start that again. If our farm's got a curse on it, can you mung curse it? Show me the curse and I will vanquish it. I don't know how to start. Ah. Stuffy! Hmm? Stuffy Gladstone! He runs a local museum. Hexwood's got a curse on it. He can look it up. That place of his is full of old books. Old books. Mayhap. Magic books. <laughs> Magic sign. <laughs> Swifter than the wild boar, and men sit inside them. Now, all are magicians. <laughs> My brother! <laughs> The Romans called him an ancient fertility god. <laughs> Originally, he had two faces, one each side, like Janus. Unfortunately, one of them is missing. Be lucky to see him at all, really. He belongs to the British Museum. Professor Honington arranged the loan. He's coming today to take our friend back to London. What are you eating? Nothing, nothing at all. Thank you so much. Come on, girls. Come on, quickly. Come on, quickly. 
Mr. Gladstone. Yes? Um, I wonder if you can help me. Well, I will if I can. My name's Bennett, Edward Bennett. I'm from Hexford Farm. Hexford Farm? Oh, yes, that's partly a 17th century. Nice old place. Well, I'm doing this history project, so I thought I might as well do it about my home. Oh, splendid idea. Well, I remember that interesting talk you gave us at school. Oh, really? Oh, that's, that's very encouraging. I'd rather thought I'd laid a bit of an egg. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Norman invaders! <laughs> did you touch the exhibit? Well, did you? Well, I'm sure he didn't, Mr. Gladstone. You know this gentleman? D yes, um, he's staying with us at the farm. Aren't you, Mr. Brown? I see. Um, when can I come and see you? This afternoon, 3.30. It really is rather pressing, Mr. Bennett. You're 800 pounds over your limit. I see. Uh, all right, uh, 3.30. Goodbye. 800. Sam? You finished up there? Oh, I'd be a bit of a while yet, Mr. Bennett. That bat's really blocked up. I never see such a mess. Well, when you're finished, would you get the stepladder and have a look at that fuse box? Some of those upstairs lights seem to be on the blink. There you are. There we are. That's better. No damage done. After all, he was used to being biffed about a bit, wasn't he, Mr. Brown? He's a bit odd, isn't he? Why is he wearing that um, thing? Well, he's worn it for years. Oh, he's got to. What are you doing? I've lost him. You, you haven't brought touch word, have you? He wanted to come. You'll get us thrown out. He already thinks you're potty. That. Come, my boy. Come, my merry boy. He really is very hard, isn't he? What's he looking for? I think he's found it. <laughs> a frock. She's a toad. <laughs> now, let me see. Where was I? Uh, oh, yes, Hexwood. Hmm. Uh, Tobias's History of Westbourne. That's what we want. Uh, Tobias. Oh, yes. Shivers. Ah! Has not an eye upon me. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Hexford. Oh, yes, here we are. Well, oh, there's not much, I'm afraid. The new house at Hexwood is of most pleasant aspect. One Rapkin, tis said, bound all who live there in turmoil. But that is matter for the foolish. Well, that's all on Hexwood. Bound all who live there in turmoil? What does it mean? Well, Tobias is often rather obscure, I'm afraid. Now, flippity gibbet. Tis as clear as spring weather. That Rapkin was a witch. Really, Mr. Brown, how could you possibly know that? <laughs> Mr. Brown, I'd, I'd rather you didn't do that. Mr. Brown, the, the, the book's uh, valuable. <laughs> Come down, Brown. My search is over. <laughs> Repkin. His book. <laughs> ah, the true magic the power lies within. Don't worry, Mr. Preston. I'll get it back. Good, good. Spells, charms, curses. 
It is all here, Touchwood. Prayers to Tarry. Prayers to Lucifer. Come on, hand it over. What? The book. It stays with me here in Castle Sabirac. Goes back to Stuffy Gladstone. Rush me not, brother. It stays. Now listen, Cat Weasel. <laughs> I have found thy curse. Have you? See, the rooms. I can't read that. <laughs> As I cannot read thy books. Hark. Hexwood, I blight thee. Stones hold my power. One in the water, one in the tower. I'm sorry. Just don't get it. Ah, now, Mugwump. Stones hold my power. What stones? The stones this black king cursed and then hid. What did he do that for? Twas his revenge, brother. He cursed them because thy house was built on his witch's meeting place. He hid them to stop meddlers from undoing his curse. You mean we've got to find a couple of stones hidden somewhere in the farm? Aye, brother. <laughs> to work fast. That'll be back at six. <laughs> Release him. What? Release the tiny cuckoo. Is there a real one? <laughs> now, listen, Cat Weasel, we've got to find this stone. One in the water and one in the tower. But we haven't got a tower. Hi. Well, what could he mean? The chimney. <laughs> could he have meant the chimney? <laughs> but if it's up there, we'll never find it. We must try. Okay. Right, help me with this. What is it? Ah, never mind. Right. Up you go. No. Come on, it's all right. There's no soot. Why not? There may be demons. You think so? All right, you hold the ladder. <laughs> what sort of stone am I looking for? We'll have an eye on it. Ah, oh, this is hopeless. I'll never find it. I don't think there is one. A uh, frog spawn. <laughs> Any demons? Not yet, little face. Well, if you want to go higher, there's a sort of... Foothold. No need. It is here. What? I have found the stone. Fantastic. Hang on. I'll, I'll get a hand on it. Here Sam. Hello, Keller. Uh, hello, Sam. It's uh, it's nice to see you, Sam. Oh, there's no need to yell. I ain't deaf. Have you seen the steps? What steps? Them steps. Well, you can't have them. Who said? I need them. What for? The secret. Ah, don't be da. Uh, do you want them for long? Why, well, you know, I might do. You better come down, quick. Did you have to do that? No soot. No soot. I'm like Shed Barshimoth, the black demon of the moon. You made a terrible mess. Take the accursed thing. You sure this is it? What? OK, OK. Let's give it a wash. Better give you a more at it. It's ever so old. Come and have a look. What do the runes say, old master? Hey, Sam. What's that old bit of stone? Well, uh, it's, it's only a game, Sam. You know, uh, witchcraft. Oh, 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 witchcraft. Where are you going? I'm going to put these steps back where they belong. Oh, don't do that. I mean, I'll do that. Okay. Cool. What's all that mess? <laughs> hey, you pick up the chimney. Oh, not right up. <laughs> You run out, get it in the neck, my old son, when your dad comes back. <laughs> right, I'm off. Cheerio, Carrot. Um. Hey, 
in and out like a weaver shuttle. We nearly got caught that time. One in the water and one in the tower. One in the water? Hast thou a well? Brilliant. <laughs> It's a long way down, but there's only a bit of water at the bottom. Sure you'll be all right? Hey. Yes? I am not going down. Oh, go on, it'll be fun. No, I have the bone ache. It's a poor excuse. Get in the bucket. Hey, art thou afeard? Yes. Yeah, check, check. Slowly down, devil's pick up. Can you see anything yet? Not yet. Wait! What? Ah! Cat weasel? Oh. Cat weasel! Touch words, are you all right? Yeah, Can you see the stone? No, many little stars, but no stone. Well, it must be down there somewhere. I cannot find it. Well, don't give up yet. It is dark. Come, lift me. We've got to find it, Cat weasel. I am cold. Lift me, thou woodlouse. Oh, all right, get in the bucket. Take care, take care. Stop moaning. Slowly now, bro. Don't worry. Oh, well, we tried. Ha, see, this phone. What? <laughs> incredible. It's absolutely incredible. It fits. You see, Edward? Look. It all fits. Huh. Uh, uh, tape on it, Nice and tight. Yes. It won't hurt him. <laughs> That's it. That's it. You know, Edward, this... This really is a find in a million. I'm afraid I haven't got your book back yet. Huh? Oh, no. Keep it, keep it. No. This really is remarkable. You wait till old Huntington sees this. Oh, I can't stay. I have to get back to the house. I left it in a bit of a mess. Splendid, splendid. This completely irresponsible and childish behaviour. The moment I'm out of the house, you're doing some mad thing like climbing up the chimney. Well, I know it looks bad, but I had a good reason. Don't answer back. You're, you're getting completely out of control, Carrot. Hexwood Farm. It's Gladstone here. Who? Cecil Gladstone, Westbourne Museum. Is that Mr. Bennett? Yes. I suppose your son Edward has told you about his amazing discoveries. No. What uh, amazing discoveries? Oh, missing pieces of a statue of Serranus. He found them at the farm, apparently. Did he? I've got Professor Honington with me here. Really? Uh, Roman Britain. Uh, uh, British Museum, you know. He says there's no doubt that his department is prepared to make you an offer. Speaking off the cuff, of course, but I would say that it would be in the region of about 800 pounds. What? Well, possibly more. Is it all right to keep them here? Yes, sir. <laughs> Splendid. You'll be hearing direct from the British Museum. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. 800 pounds. Hey! Karen, what on earth did you find? <laughs> this rapping was a master. <laughs> it is all within these pages, Touchwood. Here lies our way back. <laughs>